that is the Parthenon. Crazy. We're in Athens, Greece. 10 day trip. Two days in Athens. This is gonna be a crazy adventure. First, initial thoughts. It's pretty cool that there's orange trees everywhere with thousands of oranges. And second, there's cars everywhere. And it smells like gas and exhaust everywhere in the city. We're smack dab in the city, so we're getting straight into the action. Everything's in walking distance, no filler. We're just getting straight to the action. Five minutes from our hotel is the first stadium of the modern Olympic games. It was $15 to go in, so we said no and looked at the views from the outside. Right across the street, we took a stroll through the National Garden on our way to Monastiraki Square. Our first wild animals in the National Garden. Savage, oh, a savage feline stalking its prey. You got the wild cat over there. You got these turtles just hanging out in this little pond. It's so cute. Europeans mopping the KFC. All right. America. Wow. Oh my God. Freaking Balco Buzz and waiting for Our first restaurant of the trip was recommended to us by our Airbnb host. We're gonna Kanaka Tak soon. Tired from and this the And this is where we discovered it's green balls, one of our appetizers. favorite dishes of the Everything's cheaper. We're in Monastiraki Square. A lot going on in Athens. We're at this cathedral, pretty cool. Popular cathedral. Lots of process at this place. There's a lot going on. Small streets, lots of cars, busy restaurants, lots of people, lots of languages. It's pretty overwhelming. What do you think? I'm glad I'm not here in the summer when it's peak tourist season, perfect time of year. And we're gonna go get some fresh cream with honey and walnuts. Can't wait. <laughs> What are you eating? This is a plate of cream, cream with, cinnamon. with cinnamon, but it looks more like rice pudding texture. I found this restaurant online in the deep depths of somebody's blog and heard it was worth coming, so. What is this? Oh my God. This is called Top of Milk and it's covered in honey, but I didn't bring my lactate. This might be the best dessert I've ever had. It's just cream. I'm not even it is good. Good. I'm in Greece. <laughs> Look at this big open area. Just randomly walking on the street and there's all these sights. Pretty cool. Although, I really have no idea what it's about. Oh, there's a wild dog over there. Saturday night, it's bussing. Every restaurant here is, oh my God. And it's popping everywhere. It's like Waikiki on drugs <laughs> or Shibuya. It's like Shibuya, this whole place. It's crazy. Look at this Greek dog. Ooh, cat. Hey, Greek dog. He doesn't speak English. Hello. Lots of people are singing on the street too. How's this guy parked right in the crosswalk? This cute little car. It's hilarious. Grease kind stuff. Day two, 
breakfast. 11, 11 bucks is crazy. Birds right here. I hope they don't poop on me. Here, look at this pigeon dove. European pigeon dove. It's so fair. The skin is fair in, uh, in California. They're dirty and gross, but this one actually looks pretty nice. I would, would pet its head. Here's another. Oh, this is a. This one has American roots. It looks like. Oh, <laughs> yep. He's from America. He migrated to Greece. We're about to climb to the Parthenon. That's where Zeus and Athena used to hang out, right at the top over there. Back in the day with uh, the other gods, Poseidon, they used to chill at the Parthenon in Greece. And there's a whole bunch of cool stuff. If you take push the camera there, there's a whole bunch of cool statues, architecture, and sculpting. But yeah, I can't wait to go see where Zeus used to hang out. <laughs> wow, look at these stuffs. Statues. Dang. It's starting to get a little crowded with all the tourists as I am, but this looks cool. We will see everything. This is the Fountain of the Gods. Hercules and Poseidon drank from this very, this very water itself. You bathe yourself and you're blessed by Zeus and Aphrodite. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's gross. With these ancient Greek stainless steel installments. Here's a Colosseum where the gladiators, where the gladiators would battle right in there with the tigers and yeah, the Colosseum, pretty cool. Rome's awesome. <laughs> The views of the city kept getting better and better the farther we climbed to the top, but the crowds did not. We were seriously shocked by how many people were there in April. All of the steps were flocked with old <laughs> What Julian is basically trying to say is that young people don't appreciate history. Look at these columns, man. How'd they get these things up without a crane? Speaking of cranes, we were also shocked by how much construction was going on at the top of the hill. The Parthenon was covered in scaffolding and this giant crane that took up most of our pictures. We made it to the top, the Parthenon. It's pretty cool. Most crowded tourist place I've ever been in my life. But it's really, it's really cool. Not, not much to say, it's pretty, pretty cool. I don't have much to say about it. It's pretty crazy. I don't think it's real. I think aliens probably built it or Zeus mm -hmm. or the gods, but it's like the pyramids. Like, how did they do it? Pretty cool. Way too much people. I can't wait to go to Santorini and Milos and swim in the ocean, but check that out. These arms as big as Hercules. Everybody's feeling themselves oh, yeah. here. They can't. Update, we're walking to ancient Angora, but it's sweltering. It's starting to overheat, get dehydrated. After this, we're gonna have to hydrate up. It was a bad move to wear long pants. It's hot here. Don't be confused, this isn't the Parthenon part two, it's ancient Agora. We are back at Stani because the dessert was so good and I'm dying of thirst. And Jacob so, wants to ruin his real lunch. So we're getting dessert before lunch. Classic Gribs Adventures. This is a place that I would Classic come Gribs again. Adventures? Classic day today for Jacob. We'll be making dinner and he's eating a donut while we're making dinner. How That's did how you, you get? get? You should run through the, the itinerary of what you got. Here we go again. Sugar. Fredissimo. Cake with cream, chocolate cream. Cream, this is the best. And a milkshake. That looks like milk. Milk. Come by. I already know the cream is mops, but here's the, I don't like cake at all. But this is my first bite of the chocolate cake with cream. It doesn't even taste like a cake. It's more like just a cream cake. It's good. 
Look at that juice, baby juice. Parthenon. Yo, so after eating at Stani, like we came back to the hotel. It was about one o'clock and then I crashed, took a Benadryl and crashed till nine. And then Juliana went out. Crazy, I slept from one to nine. And then I just, now it's 3 a.m. We're getting ready to go to the airport. But I missed dinner and lunch, I'm kind of bummed. But Juliana went out, she got some food and stuff, walked around the town, so at least that was cool. But I crashed, I went down, I don't remember anything. I just remember waking up at nine o'clock, 9 p.m. And she's like, and she walks in the place. So I was like, oh shit. So I missed that whole section of Athens, but there's the Parthenon. That was our day and a half in Athens. What'd you think? I was super surprised by how much I liked it, even though it was super bustling and busy. The food was so cheap. The wine was even cheaper, even though Jacob doesn't drink. And it was so walkable. Literally everything was pedestrian friendly, which I love. We didn't have to drive anywhere. Um, I love the Acropolis, even though Jacob fell asleep most of the time. It was one of the highlights of the trip for me. I liked it more than the islands, which we're gonna go to next. In the next video, we're gonna be going to Santorini, Milos, and then we go to Vicos, Meteora, and Delphi. And that's all gonna be separate videos. Stay tuned.